joining us live for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. And now we take a brief check at the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. First for Sacramento, Thomas and Matt Lamore, the backcourt tandem. And the big fella inside out of the University of Kentucky, the unbelievably gifted and powerful pivot man, DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Rudy Gay, and it's Thompson in at the four spot. And looking at the Pelicans, Ryan Roberts out there with Gordon. And at the center position, it's the big man, Alexis Ajinsa. Then there's Al Farouk Aminu, and it's Davis in at the four-man position. Young teams, guys, tend to get run over in the Western Conference, and the Pelicans were a young team last year, and guess what? They got run over. In a conference where everybody needs to be tough to even think about the playoff, New Orleans really was overmatched. So Sacramento will get the first possession. Thomas kicks to McLemore. Hey, come around, come around. He dishes it to Cousins. He feeds it to Gay. Good on the 13-footer. Gay's got the game going here with the first basket for the Kings. And Clark, as you said, with the Pelicans last year in their final year as the Hornets, you know, the West just ate them alive. It is their critical 15 and 37 record, Steve, against the rest of the conference. And it wasn't just any one division. It was every division in the West. But look, the conference was loaded. The Pelicans, or at least I should say the Hornets at the time, were a young team. They weren't going anywhere. Not enough talent. But they're on the rise now. They've, they've added some significant talent. Off. Brian Roberts was a 27-year-old rookie last season, guys. He played his college basketball at Dayton. I watched him there and really thought he was outstanding as a collegiate player. Spent some years playing internationally, but seemed to be NBA-ready in his first season. He was a nice surprise for the Hornets as the backup point guard. Good on the second free throw. Well back to Brian Roberts, uh, a good outside shooter, plays with composure. Shot 91% from the line last year and 39% from long range. So, yeah, he does have a good shooting stroke. Also a good decision maker. I like the way he handles himself out on the floor. Now, here's Thomas. It's thrown by Davis. Here's Roberts. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. On defense, New Orleans. We'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Monty Williams. He told me he's wary about how they'll contend with DeMarcus Cousins inside. He said he's a beast in there, no doubt about it. Size, length, strength, and a ton of skill. The talent is really off the charge with him. And guys, he knows it won't be easy to muscle Cousins away from the rim, but he said that's what they've got to find a way to do. It won't be easy. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Boy, that was a violent throw down there. You're telling me. Well, you know when he goes up with both hands, it's going to go down hard. Here's Gordon. And there's the feed for Roberts. Dishes it to Amina. Kicks to Roberts. There's Gordon on the run. Drains it from beyond the arc. Gordon's got himself going now. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Thomas, no luck. Got a piece of it. The Pelicans have gotten their first three shots to go in for it to start off this game. Gordon kicks to Roberts. He passes to Davis. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Four straight makes out of the game. That's a sweet start. Outside Thomas. The dish to McLemore. Gay outside. Right side, Thomas. Fires from deep. That doesn't go either for Thomas. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. Gordon defended by McLemore. He gets to Amina. Back to Gordon. 
just four to shoot on Lawrence from 13. I'm not sure about that shot, guys. The defense really all over. Well, when it came to getting wins away from Sacramento last year, the Kings were anything but Kings of the Road. Only came away with eight wins as a visiting team last year. And that puts them near the bottom of the league in win total. Hit his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. The Kings making a switch here. Quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. And back to the Kings on the road for a second. That total of eight road wins had them tied for the fewest in the entire Western Conference, Steve, along with the Suns. Uh, it's not a surprise when a team is just bad, when they don't have an identity. There's no way you're going to be competitive on the road. They didn't defend, and they were selfish with the ball. Other than that, they were fantastic. And he's the type of player who, you know, when he gets it going, is almost impossible to cool down. Coaches will call a timeout sometimes just to take away some of the momentum uh, that he provides for that club. And don't forget now, a walking highlight reel every time he steps on the court. His flair for the dramatic makes him worth the price of admission all by himself. And the Pelicans making a change here. Steams was checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, this season, a new mascot, new team colors, and a brand-new state-of-the-art 50,000-square-foot practice facility for the Pelicans. It's not just a new paint job, folks. This is a franchise doing some exciting stuff. Travis Outlaws checked in for the Kings. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, and the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Sacramento making a switch here. Thornton's checked in. Thomas goes in. Outside for Thornton. On the wing, Williams. Back to Thornton. Kings moving the ball around. They get a hand on it. Oh, here we go with Gordon. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in putting in his way. That's the only way you just give up the two points and move on. The Kings trailed by four. Thomas passes to Williams. Now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. Oh, I don't remember on. ever seeing a dunk like that in a game. I certainly can't remember the last time I saw oh, it. Oh, man, that was just amazing. Pelicans have gotten only one of their first six shots to fall today. And, Clark, you mentioned the new colors for the Pelicans. No longer the purple, teal, and gold of the Hornets. But blue, gold, and red from the city flag of New Orleans. He looks pretty good. It does look good. And remember the other connections. I mean, that blue is featured on the Louisiana state flag. Gold, a uh, Mardi Gras color, of course. You know, and then you think about the connection to the plumage of the brown pelican, which I've studied for years. And, and of course, red. I mean, the red represents... I have no idea what red represents. <laughs> Pass to Thompson. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. You know, the dunks are few and far between for the big guy, but every once in a while, we get one just like that. It's not hard to believe that kind of size might keep you from being a high fly. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of man right there to try to get up off the ground, Kevin. First, Rivers dishes to Smith. Eric Gordon on the way. Back to Smith. Passes to Rivers. Shot clock at six. Can't get it to fall. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. New Orleans in the lead. And now here's Rivers with first great opportunity. And Evans gets it to go. And the assist by Rivers. Evans has got his first points of the night. Sacramento's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Back to Thompson. Soft touch off the glass. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. 
And I think they should really continue to work it down low. Clark. That's really going to free up the rest of their offense. Evans off the pick from Smith. Tyreek Evans again. Evans has got his second basket of the night. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Thomas with the ball. Marcus Thornton on the wing. Got it off in time, but it's no good. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Pelicans lead by four.